What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are a little late today because uh, I had to be on a job site this morning and get the guys started. And so the ride is going to happen uh, in a little while. Uh, we are over here at a job site. This is uh, one of my other hats that I wear. Uh, we do air conditioning and heating, commercial residential on Long Island. There's Steve. And uh, there's the bike on the back of the truck. And we're over here doing some demo on this building here, ripping out the old system, putting in a new system and uh, getting things happening. So, yes, I'm a little late today. I know a couple people looking for me, asking me if I'm all right. Everything's all right. Um, sometimes we got to pivot a little bit. We got to be here early. We got the guy started at 6 a.m. and uh, get in and get going. And that, that kept me from doing my ride at 6 a.m. So we're going to improvise a little bit. And we got the bike on the back of the truck. And we're going to go ride someplace fun out here. I'm thinking maybe Hexer Park. I'm actually thinking I might hit Robert Moses and go run down the Ocean Parkway a little bit since I'm right here. But we'll do that. I'll update you on that a little bit. But I want to get the message in. All right, today's message, um, two mentors in my life, Thomas Keenan and Mark Zalinoff, uh, two members of the Goon Squad. Um, Thomas has a thing he talks about, red light, yellow light, green light, where you evaluate the people that are in your life. And you kind of put them in a category of green light people are people that charge your battery, people that inspire you, people that, that love you, people that support you, people that... That, that just builds you up. Yellow light people are those kind of people that, yeah, maybe they help you, maybe they hurt you to kind of, you know, kind of middle of the road people that, you know, sometimes they may drain you, but sometimes they may charge you. I will talk about charging your batteries. Um, some people charge your batteries and some people drain your batteries. So, um, so those yellow light people are the people that maybe you give and take batteries a little bit. But then you got the red light people that are always negative, that are always complaining, that are always crying about stuff, that are basically uncharging your batteries, that are stealing your charge out of your batteries, right? And you evaluate people like that, all right? So that's that's something that Thomas talks about and evaluating that and 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 gravitating towards the green light people in your life because they're the ones that are going to inspire you. Uh, they say you are the top five people you hang out with and you surround yourself is basically who you are. So if you're surrounding yourself with green light people, you become a green light person yourself. Um, so that's one part of it. Then I'm listening to uh, Mark's podcast. And he's talking about, um, he calls it a, a F yes mentality. So we'll call it a heck yes, because I like to keep it G rated. So he's saying that is everything in your life that you do, uh, you should say heck yes. So he talks about buying a car and he's saying he's out buying a car for his wife and it's slim pickings in the market right now. And he didn't want to settle. You know, you're spending a bunch of money on a new car and you want the color you want, you want the options you want. And basically he was looking at cars and none of them were, they were all settling. They were all settling until he found a one that basically, as soon as he saw it, it was everything he wanted and said, F yes, heck yes, this is, this is the car for me. And I'm going to combine those two things. He's basically saying that everything in your life, every part of your life should be heck yes. If you're doing something in your life that's mediocre, that's not complete, that's not the best, uh, you shouldn't do it. So live your life where everything you do is heck yes, this is the right thing to do. Heck yes, this is what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to take that red light, green light theory. I'm going to evaluate it to everything in your life. Every task you do in your life, whether it be your job, um, whether it be uh, going out to dinner, whether it be buying a car, everything you do should be heck yes. Don't do anything halfway. Everything in your gut should be like, this is the right thing to do. This is what I need to do. This is what is charging my batteries. So when you're going to make dinner plans and you're going out to dinner, go to the best restaurant you can go to or don't go. Don't go out and have a mediocre dinner. Don't do it. Uh, we talk about those of us on a diet, which we're constantly on a diet. It's a lifestyle. Uh, if you're going to eat chocolate cake, it better be the best chocolate cake you've ever had or don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's either heck yes, this is the best cannoli I'm ever going to have or eh. It's a cannoli from the grocery store. You know, it's not from the Italian bakery. Like everything you do, do it the best or don't do it. Don't waste time with mediocre stuff in your life. Don't waste time with mediocre tasks in your life. 
If you're going to do a workout, do a workout. Do it hard. Do it right. Or don't do it. Don't do anything halfway. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So everything that comes into your life, make sure it's a green light. Whether it's a person, whether it's an opportunity, whether it's a work situation. If you're in a job that is a red light, that is a yellow light, that is stealing your joy, that is not making you happy, that is making you miserable, stop. Get out of it. Change it. If you're living your life overweight and having trouble tying your shoes like I used to do with 305 pounds, stop. Break the cycle. Make it right. Make it good. Do it right every time. Because doing stuff halfway and doing stuff in a red light manner and a yellow light manner is just wasting time. Time is the most valuable commodity in the world. Cannot be bought, cannot be replaced, cannot get it back. So anything in your life that you're wasting time on doing halfway is just a complete waste. So again, it's not uh, exact science, but if you think in this mindset of everything I do every day, I do it to the green light capacity. I do it to the heck yes capacity. Heck yes, this is right. Heck yes is the thing I do. When I went to Texas and I got in a room full of people, my gut said, heck yes, these are the people I need to surround myself with because these are the people that are green lights. These are the people that are going to charge my batteries. Every time I go to Texas, I get my batteries charged. So now in my life, I'm evaluating the tasks that I do. And if you're going through the motions on stuff, stop. Don't go through the motions. Either do it with passion or don't do it. And that's the message of the day. So we're going to break into prayers. Uh, I don't have anything pretty to look at today. Uh, we'll look at some trees over here. There's trees over here. There's the train back here. All right. Otherwise, we're looking at a parking lot and some buildings and a Dunkin' Donuts. But um, all right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please help us all learn to live our lives to the fullest, live our lives to the maximum capacity. Uh, stop us from going through the motions. Stop us from being average. Stop us from settling for less than the best. Um, help us to have the courage and the confidence to keep growing every day, to keep helping those around us, to keep winning in life, um, to keep being as happy and positive as we can and affecting those around us. Amen. All right. So I'm going to give you a little one last advertisement here from the job site. Uh, Gino's over there getting some stuff done. All right. Air conditioning services, commercial, residential, heating, air conditioning. We'll take care of you. This is what we do. And we're getting stuff done. Um, all right. So. As you live your life, remember, red light, yellow light, green light. Evaluate everything in your life and try and stick for the green light test. You know, not yellow lights aren't bad. Stay away from red light tests. Stay away from the bad things. Stay away from all that stuff that's hurting you, all the stuff that's uncharging your batteries. We want stuff to charge our batteries. You want stuff to make us happy. You want stuff to say, heck yes, this is what we're supposed to be doing, and this is what winning looks like. All right? So get out there. Slay your day. Thank you, Thomas. And Mark, for your inspiration, as always. And uh, if you're liking this message, uh, please like and love. Helps Facebook push it around a little bit. Uh, if you'd like to share this message, Facebook stopped me from sharing messages in groups for a while. Put me in Facebook jail. Um, I don't know. They don't like spreading the love. But uh, I'm trying to bring, build fire in your lives and help make your lives better. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out. I got a bunch of people reaching out to me. And uh, we're going to try and change the world together. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing that you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Go inspire someone by doing the right thing yourself. All right, everyone, God bless. We will see you uh, tomorrow morning.